For today's video, we will answer a math challenge given by one of our followers. And the question goes like this. Solve for all values of x that satisfies this equation x cubed over x minus 1 equals 1 over x minus 1. Now you can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. And now, let's answer this question together. Alright, so given this equation, x cubed over x minus 1 equals 1 over x minus 1, our goal is to solve for all possible values of x that satisfies this equation. So when we say all possible values of x, we are not limiting ourselves into the real world. So we can answer this question in complex world or an imaginary number. Alright, so first inspection. We have here x minus 1 on the denominator. So, it tells us that x must be not equal to 1. Because when this x equals 1, 1 minus 1 will give us 0. And 1 over 0 is definitely undefined. So, we cannot have x equals positive 1. Alright, so what we're going to do here is to multiply both sides by x minus 1. So, the reason is to eliminate this denominator x minus 1. So, our resulting equation becomes x cubed equals 1. Now, equate this to 0, subtract 1 on both sides. And then, let's try to factor x cubed minus 1. Now, take note that this 1 is just 1 cubed. So, we can apply this identity if we have a cubed minus b cubed, this can be factored as a minus b multiplied by a squared plus ab plus b squared. Now this one is just 1 cubed. So if this a represents x and this b represents 1, so x cubed minus 1 cubed can be factored as follows. We have x minus 1 multiplied by x squared plus x plus 1. Now, since it is equal to 0, it follows that at least one of them must be equal to 0, or simply the 0 property. So we can say that x minus 1 equals to 0, or x squared plus 1 equals 0. Now using the first equation, let's add 1 on both sides to solve for the value of x. If we do that, we get x equals 1. But we know that x is not equal, cannot be equal to 1. So x equals 1 is definitely not part of our solution. Alright, so the value of x that will satisfy the equation will give using this equation x squared plus x plus 1 equals to 0. So let's focus on this equation. Now, this is not factorable, so we can use the quadratic formula to solve for the value of x. So, quadratic formula must be equal to negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now, this a right here represents the coefficient of x squared, which is positive 1. This b is the coefficient of x, which is positive 1 again. And this c is the constant term, which is positive 1 again. Alright, so now let's replace all of this a with positive 1. Next, all of this b with positive 1. And this c with positive 1. Now, let's simplify. 1 squared must be 1 minus 4. This will give us negative 3. Now, this negative 3 can be written as negative 1 times 3 because we know square root of negative 1, this is just i. So, we can simplify this as i multiplied by square root of 3. And that is the only value of x that satisfies our equation. Therefore, our answer to this question, what is the values of x? that satisfies this equation, x cubed over x minus 1 equals 1 over x minus 1. And our answer, we have two possible values of x. Negative 1 plus or minus i times square root of 3 all over 2. And as always, we are done.